I'm uh, Dean Brooks. I'm actually from it, right outside Atlanta, Georgia, from a suburb that's called Stone Mountain. Uh, grew up there, but have traveled a good bit. Uh, coming out of high school, ended up getting a full scholarship to a local school, just like 40 minutes away from my hometown. Um, from there, I studied accounting for four years, ended up getting my bachelor's in accounting. Uh, while also while I was there, I ended up completing three internships, all three of them in, in various areas of accounting. Uh, really enjoyed it, really thought that I saw myself having a career in public accounting, so decided to continue on that track, on the CPA track, as they say. Um, so for undergrad, I went to a relatively small school, and so I knew for my master's degree, I wanted to go to as big a school as I possibly could, really get that state school experience and have a lot of fun while doing so. So take a look at, took a look at all my options and uh, ended up here at the University of Virginia at the McIntyre School of Commerce. And it's really been a great decision so far. Uh, here I'm in the master's, in the master's of Science in Accounting program, and I'm on the Financial Reporting and Assurance track here at McIntyre. Uh, and it's been good. I am about halfway through my first semester, just got done with midterms. Everything's looking good, having a whole bunch of fun. And it's really been a great, a great decision on my end so far to come here to UVA. Was taking a look at all my options of where the top rated students go in accounting and really settled on a few schools. Uh, all of these schools had different programs that allowed you to like fly out to the school, stay for a weekend and really experience what it's like to be a student. Um, ended up doing that at a few schools. And by the time I left Charlottesville, where the University of Virginia is located, uh, I really knew that this was gonna be my home. Um, from literally every aspect has been a positive for me. The faculty and staff here are really un unmatched in my opinion. The community is outstanding. Um, everyone is very, very over the top helpful and supportive of anything I've ever needed. Um, they've been able to answer all the questions I have. Uh, besides that, incredible recruiting opportunities. Basically every company recruits here at UVA, so it's easy to find a job. Um, I was around a lot of really smart individuals, so the program has been really great and insightful. And I think, I think the thing that I like the most about UVA that ultimately made me decide to come here was the small uh, personal feel that I got from the program. Uh, as I stated before, I went to a smaller undergrad, so my, the accounting department was very close-knit. We all knew each other um, pretty well, and I could go to them with any problems. So when I was looking for a graduate school, I knew that I wanted a big school overall, but a small, close-knit feeling program, and that's exactly what I got here at UVA. Uh, the program is usually around 60 people um, compared to other schools that have up to 150 or, or more than that. So I, I knew that uh, this school would be exactly what I was looking for, a very large school, but a very small feeling program. And that's really helped me succeed so far. I believe to be admitted, you have to have a degree in accounting or, or some other business related field that kind of parallels accounting. And also you have to have a take you have to take a few prerequisite classes. Um, I believe there's four specific accounting courses you must take before entering the MSA program. And as far as test scores like the GMAT or the GRE, um, they did during my year, they had the avail the option of if you graduated your undergraduate degree with over a 3.5 GPA that they would waive those tests so you wouldn't have to take it. And I believe they've decided to continue that. Um, during co during COVID and everything that's going on. I believe they've waived the requirements altogether. So th those are some of the requirements that they look for, as well as an open personality and ability co to cooperate with uh, groups of uh, individuals here at the school. There was a big learning curve coming from a smaller school to one of the top business programs in the U.S. Obviously, um, I find myself preparing a lot more for classes now where I was kind of a procrastinator in undergrad. I find myself really like putting in the extra work and reading a few hours before the lectures uh, just so I know what they're gonna talk about, what I can expect during the class meeting and how I can um, best contribute to the discussion because that's a big part of McIntyre is having an open discussion where everyone's inputs are valued. Um, so apart from 
the adjustment to uh, grad school, I would say you really need to be open in your collaboration with other people to be successful here at McIntyre. Uh, specifically at McIntyre, we have a big emphasis on group works and group projects. Um, so actually four out of my six classes, our grades are based on the group that we work in. So literally every day I'm on Zoom on, in, in a meeting with my group working on the work for the week. So to have the ability to work effectively with other people, understand their viewpoints, you know, take into account your biases to really work effectively as a group is really an important skill to have. So I would say communication and collaboration are the two most important skills needed to succeed here at McIntyre. In the United States to sit for the seat, well actually to be licensed as a certified public accountant or CPA, um, you need not only a bachelor's degree, so 120 hours, but you also have to reach the 150 hour of credit hour mark. So a lot of people choose to do this by going to a community college and taking extra classes, or they go to a master's degree or a master's program like I'm in now. The MSA program at uh, UVA, it helps you reach that 150 degree mark by adding the additional 30 credits through the program. But also it's more than that. I, I feel like this program is really getting me client ready for uh, a career in public accounting. And uh, more so, I hear a lot of people, a lot of professors and faculty say that this program gets, gets you ready to be a manager and not only be a successful staff or senior accountant, um, but also helps you out once you reach that manager level and you have responsibility over other people and people below you. So um, yeah, it gets you to that, that, that extra 30 credits, but also gets you client ready for your actual career. And that's huge. During my uh, weekend trip when I was recruiting here at UVA, uh, I had the opportunity to sit in on one of the graduate level classes. And the graduate class that I chose was an accounting course called Judgment and Decision Making in Accounting. And I was honestly really, really intrigued by the subject. It's basically a mix of accounting and psychology. So we're going deep in depth into the processes people that use to make decisions, some of the biases and heuristics that people use when reaching conclusions. And uh, it's really been insightful in a lot of areas outside of accounting because it really helps you understand human psychology and what people are thinking when they make different decisions and when they do different things. So judgment and decision making has really been uh, one of my favorite classes here. Uh, and like I said, it's like a mix of accounting and psychology. And I personally find that really interesting for sure. UVA and specifically McIntyre, McIntyre School of Commerce is one of the leading business programs in the US. And there certainly is a commitment that comes along with coming to school here. Um, so right now I'm taking 15 or 16 credit hours uh, and I have six different classes. Some of them are actually 1.5 credit hours. Um, but as far as like time commitment per week, I would say it's usually between 40 and 50 hours a week. Um, I, I wake up early, I study, I stay up late to complete all my assignments. Um, it, it's really helped me get into a schedule of being successful and being proactive on my all my assignments. So that's good. There, there is certainly a commitment when coming here, but don't let that commitment fool you because we do have, like I said before, um, an overly supportive faculty and staff that will really help you out with anything you need. And I really feel comfortable with all my professors um, that I could go to them with any help I'd ever need. So it's been good, but there is a commitment for sure. It's been a little different because of COVID and some of the restrictions, but there are certainly a lot of fun things to do here in Charlottesville. Um, it is a certified college town, as I like to say. It's uh, There's a lot of great restaurants to eat at, um, huge art scene here, a lot of fun things to do. And also uh, what I've been enjoying the most is a lot of the outdoor activities. Um, on any given day, you could find us hiking. I personally like to go fishing. Um, there's a, a ton of beautiful trails here. There's a lot of beautiful scenery, a lot of history to see on the UVA grounds, and really an abundance of things to do, whether there's like a, a brewery or a winery outdoor. There's tons of uh, mountains around here. They've got restaurants on top of the mountains. You can go sit out, enjoy a nice view. Uh, watch the sunset, really whatever you need, whatever you like. And if you want to stay inside, um, there's also opportunities to socialize there as well. Um, there are a number of different apartment buildings close to the UVA grounds where a lot of graduate students live. 
So there's always a friend next door, always a friend down the hall where you can go hang out with them and uh, just have some fun. It's always been good. As far as graduate students go, um, there are a number of opportunities that you can partake in. There's the Graduate Student uh, Com Council, I believe is the name of it. Um, it's basically responsible for scheduling and organizing all of our events. So because of the virtual environment, we've had a number of virtual happy hours where we just hop on Zoom and just talk with our friends for a few hours. We've done things like virtual trivia. I actually won $100 at a trivia, tri a virtual trivia match a couple weeks back. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, they, they're, they're definitely not encouraging us to join all the clubs because we have such an obligation from work and school and things like that. But there are opportunities for you to get involved and get deeper into the community here at McIntyre. The normal class size is usually between 50 and 60 people. Um, this year, we were actually at 46 students just because of travel restrictions um, and some students um, taking the opportunity to defer their enrollment to next year. Just hopefully everything gets better. Um, but out of the 46 students, there is a very diverse group. I would say at least 20 percent are 15 to 20 percent are international students. Uh, the McIntyre School of Commerce is actually a STEM designated program. So what that means, if my understanding cor is correct, is that if you're an international student and you enroll at, the, at UVA, um, because it's STEM, STEM designated, you get an extra two or three years added to your visa or sponsorship. I'm not exactly sure the correct terminology, but yes, I would say UVA is uh, very, very welcoming to international students and diverse students of all backgrounds. Um, as I mentioned previously, the community here at McIntyre is such that everyone's opinion is heard, everyone's voice matters, and it's really been a very inclusive community so far. For anyone watching, uh, I would just say that this program is incredibly worth it. Um, I came from a relatively smaller school, but my Understanding and growth of not only accounting, but personal, professional, social skills have, gained, have grown tremendously since coming here. Um, like I said before, this program really does give you get you client ready and gives you a lot of the success skills that you'll need to be successful in your career. Um, so I can say that right off the bat, once I transition, once I actually get into my career in public accounting, the transition will be so easy. Um, because I already have so much experience in group environments. Literally everything in accounting is team-based and team-oriented. So I already have so much experience working with a group, working with people of different backgrounds, um, understanding how to operate successfully and cohesively as a, as a group. Um, it gives you a lot of the social skills needed to succeed, needed to manage people, needed to, to give uh, successful or give... Um, I guess, better feedback to people that are below you. Um, and this program provides all of that. It's really been a bundle of successful factors that really have contributed to my career and I know will serve me uh, successfully down the line once I start working.